life expectancy with liver failure. Now, I'm taking that note as a stating that you're not going to get a transplant. Uh, let me explain something. When, when they determined that I had liver disease, and by the way, my name's Bill Conley. So uh, you probably see it going across the bottom of the screen here, or uh, icon of it. What you got to understand is this. I went in in 2003 with a male scale of what was called a 10. Now, the male scale was developed uh, by the Mayo Clinic by some doctor, and I can't remember his name, but you can look it up on the Internet. It's M-E-L-D as in David. And anyway, you can look it up and read about it. But anyway, when they put me on the list, I was at a 10. And what happened was I kept progressively going from 2003 to 2008. That's five years. And in that time, so when basically they said I had liver disease, I'm guessing I was probably in the middle of the third stage or maybe three quarters of the way into it. I got to a 14 or 14 and a half right in that area. And then they found that I had a tumor on my cancer or cancer on my liver and they jumped me to a 22, which was their high point at that particular hospital of a male scale to be put at the top of the list. It was an automatic jump because to kind of explain that, you can't have a, and I'm, I don't know if I'm saying centimeters or millimeters, whichever, I think it's centimeters. You can't be, you have to be between a three and a five. If it goes over a five, they can't do anything, but they won't do anything, uh, I think it was, until you were at a three. It might have been a two. I think it was two to five. So, anyway, the life expectancy, I was dragging at a 14 male scale. I can't imagine somebody being at a 20. And the only thing you could really do during that period of time, I'll be very honest with you, and the clinic or the uh, location that I went to for my uh, transplant, they put me on milk thistle. Uh, I'll say that again, milk thistle, it's an extract, they make pills of it, uh, you know, you can buy it, and they put me on a fairly high dosage, I can't remember how many, but I think I was taking like four a day or five a day, something like that, it was quite a number. Do that, check with your doctor first about that though, just so you don't, you know, screw something up, especially with other medicine, but that was one of the things I took, you know, to hopefully slow down the liver disease. So anyway, if I hadn't had the the uh, transplant, I figure I probably would have lasted well, probably up to where I am now, but I don't think I'd have went much further. So anyway, I hope that's helpful and you have a great day. Take care now.